Poseidon punishes Cassiopeia to the wheel in the sky, where she spends half her time clinging to not fall. Cassiopeia was guilty of having a beautiful daughter. Now Cassiopeia rotates as you watch the sky. Half the time she's upside down, hoping she won't fall. That's her punishment from Poseidon. Why? Because she had a beautiful daughter. Now, this is important. These, these <clears throat> stories are important. Cassiopeia, Cassiopeia was the queen of Ethiopia, depicted on a throne in Greek and Persian astrology. This wasn't our invention. See, There she is right now. You can see how this looks like. She's upside down. She's getting ready to fall out. And actually, right now, she would be right side up. This picture's upside down. But you only know that because here's Polaris. But you only know that because you're paying attention to what's up there. These thrones are the real constellation there. And that's what they mean by the queen. This is how you keep time. In the days of the queen... Right? That's not good enough because the queen will always be up. In the days when the queen was upside down with the ram. Well, wait a minute. Upside down would mean that Cassiopeia had to be on the other side of Polaris. And in the house of ram, which is Aries. And that would only mean one of 16,000 places that could exist in, in all time. Right, Meaning that the procession where the queen rises but upside down in the house of Aries could only occur in this epoch and in this epoch and in this epoch and in this epoch. If you can get past the people that are telling you to repent and thank you to me for getting rid of those people by threatening to block them on my channel, you can start to open your aperture and really look at the typology that's underneath. Because it's all right there. And the only thing that's going to stop you is fear.